In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure WordPress to always use SSL. Now, I'm going to show you that in two different ways. The first way is by using a plugin, which would automatically set up your WordPress site to use the SSL and the HTTPS. The second option is by manually changing some of your WordPress settings to force the HTTPS without the use of a plugin. But both methods do assume that you already have a valid SSL certificate installed. So to check whether or not you have a valid SSL, you can visit sslshopper.com forward slash ssl-checker.html. And that is the web page I'm on right now. And you'll see this server host name down here. You just come down here and you can type your uh, website address down here and hit the check SSL or you could just hit enter. And then you wanna scroll down to make sure you have all green check marks all the way down. If you don't have all green check marks, you're gonna to wanna to send an email to support at a2hosting.com and request a free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. Now, once we have confirmed that we have a valid SSL, we can proceed to forcing WordPress to run over SSL. The first method I'm going to show you is to install an SSL plugin. You'll want to start by logging in to your WordPress dashboard. And once you're in the dashboard of your WordPress site, on the left hand side you're going to want to look for plugins. And then up here at top you're going to want to hit add new. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then over here once you've clicked add new under search plugins you can just search for really simple SSL. Go ahead and hit enter after that. And then you want to look for this one right here, the really simple SSL. Uh, and then click the install now button. That'll go ahead and install the plugin. And then once it's installed, that button changed to activate. All you have to do is click activate. And then you can go ahead and read through some of this. It's just giving you some uh, things you want to watch out for and make sure you've uh, validated or verified. And then you go ahead and uh, activate the SSL through the plugin. And now the plugin shows up in your list down here. And if we go to the actual website, uh, what you want to look for is that it now is HTTPS. And this is kind of dependent on the browser. I'm in Google Chrome, but you're gonna to wanna to look for a padlock. Uh, here it's a green padlock and it says secure. So I'm knowing that the site is using the certificate and is running with SSL. Uh, again, the padlock may appear in a different spot depending on what browser you're using. Okay, the second option for setting up your WordPress website to use SSL is by tweaking just a couple of WordPress settings. I'm back in the WordPress dashboard here, and on the left-hand side, you're going to want to scroll down to uh, Settings, and then click General. Now, again, this is without using the plugin that I previously showed you, so that you will not have the really simple SSL plugin installed at this point, but you will have an SSL certificate installed on your server or for your website or domain. And you want to go here and look for the WordPress address URL, and you should just have to change the HTTP to HTTPS. So I'm going to click there and just click an S in there, or type an S in there. And then I'm going to go down and do the same exact thing for site address. I'm going to click there and type that S in there. You want to make sure it matches, and you also want to make sure that you don't have any trailing uh, forward slash at the end of the uh, URL here. So all I did was change HTTP to HTTPS and then you would scroll down and click the save changes button there and that would save the URL for your website to be HTTPS. You may after doing this have to re-log into your dashboard since you have changed the URL from HTTP to HTTPS. So that is two ways you can configure your WordPress to always use SSL. For more tutorials, visit a2hosting.com forward slash KB.